Thank you for joining us today for the Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Cameron Seeley, and I'm here with women's soccer coach, Sue Vodica. Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> Let us talk about the matches this week. What do you need in order to do to get positive results? You know, I think it's this time of year everybody's a little tired, a little banged up, so hopefully, uh, you know, we're going to have a good training session today and tomorrow, and it's just really a matter of focusing on details and getting, um, getting done what we know we can do. You know, mm -hmm. in other words, playing our style of soccer and making sure that we're focused for 90 minutes. Yeah. Well, um, going with that, as you're two le days leading up to uh, Wednesday, which is Senior Day, it can be an emotional time, but how will you and your team prepare as it marks the end of five of the players' homes careers? You know, this is a, one of the things that's special about this class is that all, um, all five of them stayed four years, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. that, that is special. And, and, you know, it's, it's a lot of commitment and a lot of time, and I you know you that because it's the same thing in basketball, and we don't have the same amount of funding as everybody else, so a lot of my kids are on partial scholarships. They have to have jobs. And for them to stay all um, four years, it's been special. Uh, I think it will be emotional, but I think it'll be, it'll be a good emotion. I think that the, the rest of the team's going to be uh, looking forward to playing hard uh, for them. Yeah. Well, Wednesday is a big game, but um, looking ahead to your uh, the rest of the season, your team should be in playing in the PBC tournament, possibly for the first time since 2008. What does this mean for you and your program if that you happens? Know, you know, honestly, they're pretty excited about the opportunity, and they have mm -hmm. uh, had that as a goal all season long, and, and to really see them uh, do the work, because this conference is tough, yeah. and I know you know that very yeah. well. It's tough. So if there were them to have done the work to put themselves in this position is outstanding. Obviously, um, Wednesday's game is a, a big game, yeah. and hopefully we come out and give the performance that I think we're capable of doing I'm looking forward to seeing them play that way yeah well um your team has had some injuries this year and uh like a lot of teams do but how do your injuries alter your coaching style for this week well I think that it even for all you know I just got off the phone with the Columbus State coach and we yeah. talk about how at this time of year you're really your practices are almost down to 45 minutes to an hour uh, mm -hmm. it's a lot of just you know game plan and preparation uh, and um, you have to monitor the minutes of players you know he yeah. was sharing how he you know wanted took seven of his players out to rest them after they played a 90 minute match and you kind of really kind of be creative in what you do it's got to be high, high intensity but for short periods of time mm -hmm. you can't be out there for you know an hour 30 hour 45 minutes going hard you'll, you'll just spend all they got absolutely well um has there been anyone like unexpectedly step up for you this year that you didn't plan on well you know i think that um you know, I hope that when I recruit, that I recruit believing the players are going to come in and compete. But, you know, I, I do think that, um, you know, we have three freshmen starting, Nicole Cranny, Casey Rush, and uh, Sarah Moore. And I think all three of them have done mm -hmm. an excellent job. In the last couple of games, I've actually pushed Casey in the midfield a couple of times, and yeah. she's really done a good job for us. And, uh, you know, Nicole's playing with a slight injury, too, and I think that, um, you know, when you watch her play, you wouldn't know that. So I think all three of them have done well, and the rest of the freshman class is pushing everybody for playing time. Kayla Muse came in. That's the other one I wanted to mention. Kayla Muse did a great job. She came in Armstrong Atlantic uh, off the bench and played the rest of the game after about 15 minutes, and um, she hadn't played in a couple of games. And for her to come in and have the performance she did, it was that was special. Yeah, well, I mean, not um, to be looking ahead, but you have such a young team this year, and virtually everyone is back next year. How excited are you that uh, you will have such an experienced team with these freshmen getting even better? Well, you know, that's why I think making the tournament is really important this year. I want them to have that experience. I want them to have that expectation. You know, I've kind of challenged them as freshmen. Wouldn't it be great for you to be the first class to go to the tournament all four years of your year, yeah. you know, um, of your career? So um, I'm excited. I think they're a good class. I think this year's team is a good team, and I, I think that this is a great um, – they're getting a lot of really good experience. They're learning what the Peach Belt Conference is about and how competitive it is and what the kind of preparation you need to do mm -hmm. uh, to be able to last through the entire season yeah. uh, in this conference. Well, we wish you the best of luck this week and um, hopefully see you can hopefully make it to the conference tournament. So Thank you. I'm your host, Cameron Seeley, and we want to thank Sue Vodica for joining us today for the Coach's Corner.